it's Biddy Penny and I am here with you today to share two waterfall cards and this is like beginner level card construction you guys can do it there's no special dies um, to make this design of card I'm using the just grillin paper pad that's the August paper pad of the month from the subscription and then I have these adorable cows from the stamp and die set of the month I know the stamp set sold out, but I do believe the stamp and die combo is still available. So I'm gonna leave not too shabby link down below. Let's talk about the components of this card. This is a two by 11 inch strip and I've scored at six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight and eight and a half. Okay, so the six inch is going to be your base down here. Now I cut a piece of patterned paper. That is your pull tab. And um, you just have to make sure that when you're gluing, you're gonna glue on the opposite side. I'm gonna show you all that even more up close here in just a second. So I've got a die cut of the word. I love when sentiments are die cut. And I've got little pieces kind of set aside. And these here are two and three quarter by two and three quarter for the pattern paper and three by three for the colored paper. And then that other strip is two and three quarters by one inch. Okay, I did grab my punch and some colored cardstock, and I just did like half of the circle punch to make a cute little hill, very basic for the cows to sit on. So I wanted to show you how I did that. Um, you could also, if you had a circle die, then you could just cut the circle in half if you didn't have a punch that was the right size. This is a two and a half inch punch. Okay, so I grabbed my dies. I had colored up all of these cows, and so now all I had to do was die cut. I love that these fit in my Sizzix Sidekick because it just makes for really quick die cutting. I die cut eight of these in no time. I love running them through this little machine. It was just ideal. So I grab each one that coordinates with the stamp set and they cut out beautifully and just run it through my little die cutting machine. It makes me happy. A lot faster than fussy cutting <laughs> or breaking out my brother's scanning cut. So that, that just makes me happy when I can do that. So here are all of my cows. I have a whole herd of them. Um, and now I'm going to get to construction. So this is the two and three quarters inch square um, laid on top and glued down to the three inch square. I am making this card this way for the five by seven that we're gonna make here together. But I also made the A2 card that I was showing you in the beginning. And that one, I left the matted layer off, which is totally fine and really great because these are patterned papers that are double-sided, so then both sides are automatically decorated, so that's fun. With this one, I just cut this uh, into a, basically my circle became a quarter of a circle. And even though those two pieces don't line up, it really doesn't matter. Once I lay my cow and glue it on top of that seam, it's not really that noticeable or that big of a deal. So some of my cows I put in the center and some I put off center. And the way I ordered my card panel, these little panels, um, just depended on where each cow was positioned on the square. So like this one's over to the right. I'll have one in the center, one to the left. I think I did another in the center. So now I'm gonna build this little seam this is for the final um, panel of the waterfall card. And this just says, life is a picnic with you. And these are the picnic cows. They are adorable, you guys. I had so much fun coloring them up and they just went so perfectly with this paper pad. I couldn't resist using it twice. <laughs> so now we have this piece. Let's talk about this piece again. Now on the A2 card there, I trimmed it a little differently. And now I'm showing you here where you're gonna put your tape. So I grabbed quarter inch tape. Now remember that we scored these at half inch marks, right? 
So I'm putting my quarter inch tape right in the middle because I don't want um, it getting sticky on either side. So I'm just putting this at each, um, in between each scored line. So I need a total of five pieces of tape and um, I will end up using glue as well. So I'm just using this uh, right angle tool to tear off my tape. It just makes it easier. And I have a lot of people ask me about this. There it is. Um, I got it on Etsy. But I also have this tool that I got from Dollar Tree and I love it too. And it tears tape as well. I'm going to show you right here. <laughs> so use what you got, right? Um, so now on this, this is the piece that's going to secure your whole thing down, okay? So you only want to put quarter inch tape at the very edge of each side of that tab. Okay, so we've got our pattern paper facing up, right? And, and now we're going to order our panels and we put them on from the front or the top panel to the bottom. So I'm just going to line this up. I'm using my mat. So this strip, the white strip of paper, the pull panel is exactly two inches, right? And these are two, or sorry, these are three inches. So if I use my grid mat, I just hang it off half an inch on each side. Works out perfectly. Um, and that's, and then you can also line them up. Like once you get your first one down, then you can line each of the squares up with one another. And you want to leave this little bit of space, you know, that just that tiniest bit of white showing. It's not even an eighth of an inch or anything, you guys. It's, it's minimal, but it's just showing so that it flips really well. You also want to make sure you burnish your score lines really well. Um, that too really helps this mechanism flip easily. Okay, so once all five panels are done, you're only going to have this one little strip left, and it's actually hidden when you use this method of adding the mats, right? So I'm just kind of showing you, I'm just testing it out. Now we need to get our base ready. So I have a five by seven card base. I grabbed a six by six sheet of paper from the um, Just Grill In paper pad. And you know what? I just cut it to four and a half. So I have a four and a half by six inch piece of paper. This just works for me because we've already put so much work into the waterfall that it doesn't need a whole lot of the background. But I did think it would be super cute if I would have stenciled clouds and grass and things like that. I could have made it like a whole scene that changes, you know, another time. But I liked it just like this as well. Okay, we need to secure this down. All right, so you what you do is you close it like this and that's where you will glue it down. First, I just put a little bit of glue there to adhere this piece, and you wanna just make sure it's even right in the middle so that your sticky um, quarter inch tape is just there on the edges. Again, you don't want it overhanging, and you certainly don't want it glue seeping over there and getting stuck to anything. Okay, so you don't want it getting stuck to this panel that I just folded over. I fold it all up, lay it down flat, and then I'm just going to make sure that those two tiny pieces of tape and glue are adhered down. See that? So I'm going to hold this up for you guys so you can really see what I'm doing here. You just want to make sure that center piece right here does not get glued down at all because that's how everything moves. Now, when you have it completely open, you can't even see that panel. Isn't that great? Um, on this A2 one, if you don't use the mats, you will have to trim that white piece a little bit. All right, so here they are. And see that pattern paper is really fun that it's double-sided because then both sides are decorated automatically. I just love the style of card, you guys. I hope if you haven't made it before that this helps you feel more confident trying it. It really isn't very difficult at all. Um, I will leave measurements down in the description box for you below just so you can, if you're a visual person, you can see the dimensions and that might help you. 
Um, I also did a free printable. I reached 6,000 subscribers here on my channel and I did a free printable that's available on my website, biddypenny.com. And I made these cool little card inserts. So now that I have this water card, waterfall card, I have an insert to go with it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.